hi guys welcome to life with kanini my name is kanini in today's video i want us to look at women and our online image how we should dress in like online and some of the mistakes that i have seen with celebrities and some of the well-dressed celebrities with good like a very good online image and what that says about them and how you can use that knowledge to help build an online presence let's face it building an online presence is one of the best ways to make a living right now so I wouldn't encourage a woman to go out there, especially Kenyan women or, you know, black women, African women. I would encourage you to go out there and make a living online and a presence online because you can actually capitalize on it. But when you go there and even when you get a lot of success building online presence, you might build it the wrong way or you can build it the right way. I find that a lot of women forget their value as a woman when they're going online. Your value as a woman in society is based on the fact that we women give birth men don't give birth right so we give birth and we nurture and raise children so whenever you are putting out your image online you always have to think how will this impact my children other children the society am i being a force of good or evil am i helping build the society or am i helping break it down so i'm going to show you a few clips here about women in social media and at work and these are celebrities famous women and i'll give you what i think about them the first section of women will be women in entertainment cringe worthy and then i'll show you women in politics and how they behave in politics how they dress and their image and what that says about them if you're looking to build an online presence i want you to think about your impact in to the world i'm a christian woman so i'm going to encourage you to take a conservative presence when you're going online but ultimately i can't force you i can only try to influence you in a certain direction but i cannot force you because that would be wrong you ultimately make your bed and you lay in it but especially young women i would like to ask you to think carefully before you go into social media and create a presence online just think about what you want in your long-term goals not just like you want to make money just think about your long-term goals what kind of a role model you want to be and then decide to go from there on so i'm going to show you a few clips right now Megan Monique good as her fair share in the dating scene Megan Monique good as her fair share in the dating scene Megan Monique good as her fair share in the dating scene Serena Williams looking lovely in this beautiful black dress as she attended the SS Fest and was being honored for the Investor of the Year. Her dress was by Dolce & Gabbana and you can never go wrong with black for the Investor of the Year. For the Investor of the Year. I've shown you those women. Those are women in entertainment. What do you think about their online image? What do you think about their children when they see their parents there, right? I can tell you the person that I didn't expect was Serena Williams because I grew up seeing her play tennis, being this strong, beautiful black woman and a role model. But then when you start doing this on the internet, you know, and you're a married woman, uh, you know, sometimes I wonder, like, what is the husband thinking? You know, is he in on this? Is he totally fine with this? You know, what is forcing her to do this? Because I know she's a mother and she has a daughter too. Why? 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 You know, and then you know that 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 one from beyonce was like you know funga duka moyana pizza you know like close a shop you know like the family jewels you know they should be seen by everybody keep them private 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 family jewels and so and, and i'm thinking about young women because these women have already made their bed they've laid in it and I'm thinking about young women who look up to these women as role models and how, you know, these women are going to be the ones who suffer the consequences 
of poor role models in their lives because they don't know any better. And one thing that other people think is like, you know, it's not Beyonce's job, it's not Megan Good's job, it's not it, it's not their job to come and teach your, your, your child or to teach you as a woman how you should be. You know, that's why it's good to read the Bible and, and, and live your life with wisdom, you know. And you see somebody like Megan Good, she's going to move from one man to another to another to another because this is what Hollywood does to women who cannot prioritize their own life and their families, you know they'll just play with you and then dump you so you don't want to have a life like that as a young woman and if you want to go into social media i want you to think about your family your future husband your children and what kind of online presence you're going to make and how that is going to impact you because you know we all go home to whoever we love or our families at the end of the day you know the people for me who will mean the world to me would be my my husband and my children and the online presence that I build, you know, will affect how other people perceive them. So if you want to go online, think about how you're impacting them. Like I'm truly afraid, like for somebody like Serena Williams, you know, she has like this beautiful, beautiful image, but now because she seems to obviously have low self-esteem issues because, you know, of the blonde hair, you know, all the having to do all this on the internet. It's like, uh, it's screaming attention, me, 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 which is typical for women with low self-esteem. And I'm like, okay, this is not healthy for a marriage. It's not healthy for your daughter. Like all these things. But anyway, let's look into the next group of women that are in politics and you'll see how they dress how they carry themselves, and then we'll talk about them. Parade almost eight years ago, Michelle Obama sparked a fashion revolution. Pairing her J. Michael Coors to Ralph Lauren, customers clamoring to buy her next look. She was a first lady that mixed high and low fashion. She was relatable. She secured her role as fashion's first lady by appearing on the cover of Vogue, now through gloves with a one of a kind handmade dress. That inauguration dress. So if you're a discerning woman, you can see how Princess Kate carries herself, even with her daughter, the manners, the, the way she just carries herself with her children. You know, she, she's dressed, you know, very modestly dressed. And you can see her teaching her daughter the same kind of mannerisms, like you know, this is how women behave. This is how women carry themselves. And you can't help but admire that kind of leadership. And you can tell that women in politics, look at how Michelle Obama is dressed. You can tell that women in politics, they carry themselves with a certain air of dignity. And the way they're dressing, like businesswoman, you have to be modest. You have to carry yourself with significance. Why? Because they demand respect. They want to be in a field where they are respected. Um, and this is what I want you to gain from them. They don't just think about money, or how, what they are going to do right now. They think about legacy. They think about their name. They think about their image. They think about how their grandchildren will view them as role models. So they are making a bed for that kind of the next generation after them. They are not just looking at right here, right now. They're thinking about their empire, their grandchildren, their great-grandchildren, the image that will be left for their children online 
when everything is all said and done. You know, what, what if they own a company, you know, how it's going to look like, how people behave in that company, the culture in that company, everything, you know. You see Kate, you know, greeting uh, women, and I think that's a group of women she was, she was, she, she was attending, she went with her daughter, she's well dressed, the daughter is well behaved, you know, you can see even she's looking for direction from her mother, should I say hi, what should I do, why? Because the girl already respects the mother, because the mother is a positive influence to her, you know, and you want your children to have that kind of faith in you as a leader, as a mother, and as your image. Now look at these other women. You know, if your family jewels are all over the internet, what what are your children going to think of you? You know, what is your, your how are your grandchildren going to view you? Are they going to respect you? Or, you know, are they going to have question marks about your character? We, we are online. I, you know, I'm just one person seeing this, but a lot of women wonder, you know, like why they are, it seems like their goals are not working out, you're not getting married, or you're not getting the job that you want, it's probably because of your online image, you know, the things that you put out there. And it's good that we remind ourselves that we don't live in a vacuum. There is no privacy anymore. What you put out there in the universe is going to be seen. And there is no privacy. So just think about it as a young woman growing up in a modern day era, uh, you know, God is still real and, and um, being conservative, it doesn't mean that you're foolish or, you know, things are not gonna work out for you. It just means that you're more cautious, you're more precautious, you're smarter, you have more wisdom about how you're going about your life. And there's nothing wrong with being wise and having wisdom. So thanks again for tuning in to Life with Kanini. Again, my name is Kanini. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and share. And again, my name is Kanini. And until next time, take care and may God bless you.